It looks like there's firearms in it. Okay. Relax, relax. I have a privilege as a U.S. constitutional person to say I'm white. Okay, but you don't have a right to be intoxicated, and I can smell it on your breath. Well, you know, I'm white. From attempted rental car thefts to public indecency to fighting with police officers, airports can be a hot spot for crime. We're bringing you the top eight most outrageous arrests in airports. Welcome to After Hours, presented by Law & Crime. I'm Sam Goldberg. First, we begin at Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport in Texas. It's June 26th, 2022. Airport officers have gotten reports that a woman is acting strangely in one of the terminals, calling out to people as they walked by her, announcing that she's, quote, white. I'm white, I'm privileged, yelling at people, take your fucking mask off, you know, this and that. So, okay. He just said, excuse me, I'm white. Look at that lady. The officer stopped Cynthia Rowland at an American Airlines gate. Stop. We're going out. No, we're not. You're, you're not going to get rebooked. You're, you're, you're causing a disruption. Stop. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm you're not. You're going to go out the doors. No, I'm not. You are. We've got numerous calls. Because I'm People walking through saying I'm white. Because I'm walking through saying I'm a white person. How much have you had to drink today? I'm walking through saying I'm white. How much have you had to drink today? I'm walking through saying I'm white. Roland then refuses to give officers her boarding pass or her ID. I can't walk through as a U.S. citizen and say I'm white. How much have you had to drink? Does it matter? Because you're showing signs of intoxication. No, no, People no. People don't act like no, this. No, 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 no. Why can I not walk through and be an American you're, citizen and say I'm white? You're causing people alarm, mm. concern. Oh. You're causing people to move out of your way. Oh, really? Because I'm walking through and saying I'm white? Because I'm saying I'm white? I have a privilege as a U.S. constitutional person to say I'm white. Okay, but you don't have a I'm right white. to be intoxicated, and I can smell it on your breath. Well, you know, I'm white. You Are you going to give him your ID? Yes, you do. Show him your ID right now. I'm investigating public intox. Are you done? Seven I'm done. Down. I think we're good. Seven. Excuse me. Stop. Excuse don't resist. me. Don't resist. We're done. As they put Roland in handcuffs, she makes a shocking comment in response to one of the officers. This is America. It is. Wow. We're a nation of laws. Ready? I'll, I'll grab wow. it. Let's go ahead and get her out. Daughter, get her. Don't uh, tense up. The officer's patience is already wearing thin. All I said was, are you well, white? I can't get it. You go all the way down with it? No, this is here we are. Is that better? Are you white? Are you white? Let's go. Are you white? Let's go. Are you, are, are you white? Are you white? Are you white? All I said was, are you white? You're not. Once the officers get Roland outside, she apparently kicks one of them. If you're white! Stop Walk. Is she kicking? Yeah. If you're white! Don't let her bite you. Watch her, watch her mouth. You're not gonna bite yeah, anyone. Do it once. If you're white! If you're white! If you're white! Roland is then restrained on the ground and a paper face mask goes over her mouth. God, you people don't know who the f I am or who I know. Are you white? Are you white? Are you white? Are you Stay down. I can't wait to go on Tucker Carlson and Laura Graham because I know them personally. Can't wait. I can't wait to get the sh off my face. Please, I am a citizen. Get this sh off my face. If not, I will sue every you of every one of you. Oh, but you don't give a sh You don't give a sh do you? As law enforcement waits for medical first responders, Roland switches her verbal tactics. This is because I'm not black. Hey, lady, I'm not 
Roland was taken to a hospital to get checked out and was eventually booked on charges of resisting arrest and assault of a public servant. Next, we're in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. It's April 5th, 2023, just before 4 a.m. Sheriff's deputies stop an apparent car thief in action as he tries to take off in a rental car at the airport. Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get your hand on the ground! Do it now. Get it, bro. Officials say 23-year-old Sean Jibbo tried to drive away in a stolen car, but didn't get very far. Spike strips popped most of the vehicle's tires, and then multiple deputies caught up to him. Get on the ground! 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 Stop resisting! Unbelievable! Come on, I didn't do nothing wrong. Get on the ground now! This is not. A deputy tases Jibbo, but he still manages to get up and take off running. He's running on 119. He's following from car rental. The white male, black backpack. When deputies finally chase him down, Jibbo makes some bizarre statements about how he needs help and that there's quote fear in his heart. Did you search him? Yeah. Like completely? What here is this? Stop talking. Well, we we know what was what? From the first time. Man, I'm not all there. I'm not all there right now, man. I just need help. That's all. I was trying to walk around to free my mind. Everybody wanted to kick me out. And they wanted me to walk in this rain. You know, fear is in my heart. Spread your feet. Absolutely. Let go of this right now. Let go of it. Let go. Do you have any guns, weapons, anything like that? Oh, oh, hey. Take it Who is this man? Take the, take the watch. According to the sheriff's office, two deputies were injured during the chaos. Jibbo was booked into the Milwaukee County Jail on charges of operating a vehicle without the owner's consent, criminal damage to property, and two counts of resisting and injuring officers. He's expected to attend a hearing in March 2024 to enter a plea and be sentenced. Now we're in Florida, but this time at Miami International. It's March 31st, 2023. The crew of a Frontier Airlines flight from Florida to Pennsylvania says a woman got into an argument with a fellow passenger, so flight attendants asked her to get off the plane. The passenger, identified as Simone Kim, allegedly refused to deplane, so the crew called police. When officers arrived, Kim and her friend left the plane, but argued with police when they were detained in handcuffs. I know how to conduct myself. Put your bags in the front. Why? Take off the purse. Why? Because you're gonna go to jail. Take off the purse. Why are we going to jail? Take off your purse. Why am I going to jail? I didn't say nothing. I didn't hit nobody. Why? Relax, relax. Kim refuses to speak with the male officers, but offers a little more information to a female cop. So why am I detained? I was not there, but that's what they're saying. No, you're not the refuse. Even the airport, the people that were sitting next to you said, why are they trying to kick you off? You can go on and ask everyone. Yeah, but you have to understand, whenever the airline tells you to get off, I am retired army. I understand. I get every baggage free. I get loaded for free. Why would I act in the way? Kim even goes so far as to ask for a photo of herself in cuffs for social media. No, 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 take a picture. I need a picture. Now you're not being reasonable. 
I am being risen by the picture on my Instagram so they know I'm not home at a party tonight, but I have to be out that I got paid 3000 for it. Thank you. When the officers try to remove Kim from the jetway, she drags her legs, so the officers end up picking her up. Oh, come on. Don't make it harder than what it has to be. Come on. You're going to get hurt. You're going to get hurt. As they carry her down the stairs, Kim is still resisting, knocking an officer's body camera off onto the staircase. The officers carry her across the tarmac and put her in a patrol car in handcuffs and leg restraints. They say she was kicking, spitting, and even trying to bite one of the officers. Kim was charged with battery on a police officer, resisting an officer with violence, assault on a police officer, and a trespassing charge. She was released on bond and is expected back in court at the end of February. Next, we're at Hartsfield Jackson International in Atlanta. It's November 11th, 2022, around 9 p.m. A Frontier Airlines flight from Cincinnati, Ohio to Tampa, Florida has been diverted because a man on board has a box cutter. According to a federal indictment, when William Liebisch went through security in Ohio, they found the box cutter. They took out the blade and gave him back the handle, thinking the box cutter wouldn't work. But authorities say Liebisch took a spare blade out of the handle and loaded it once he was on the plane. One passenger said he saw Liebisch cleaning his nails with the box cutter, and another passenger told flight attendants that Liebisch had said he was going to stab someone. The pilot then made an emergency landing in Atlanta, and all passengers were told to get off the plane. In body camera footage, you can hear dispatch relaying that Liebisch is still in the back of the plane with the weapon. He's by himself. He's in the back of the plane, uh, standing there with a glass box cutter. The officers then wait until every passenger gets off the plane before they decide to move in. At that point, things escalate quickly. The indictment says Liebisch had charged at a flight attendant while holding the box cutter. But this ain't how the cuffs go on. Well, stop, stop man. Relax. You relax and put handcuffs on, right, man? Okay, man. Okay, I need resist, okay, man. Hold on, hold on. Calm down. Breathe. Okay. Bananas, man. What the is wrong with you, man? You need a. Ah! Okay, I will fix them. Yeah, after you rip my wrist off, man. Liebisch was charged with interfering with the duties of a flight crew and carrying a weapon aboard an airplane. As part of a plea agreement, he pleaded guilty to the charge of interfering with the duties of a flight crew. He's expected to be sentenced to 30 months in prison at a hearing in March. Now we go to Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport. It's December 12th, 2022, and a rapper has been detained for having a gun inside his suitcase. It looks like there's firearms in it. Sir, listen, I swear to God, I that bag. That's my brother's bag. That's actor and rapper Lil Meech, whose real name is Demetrius Flinnery Jr. One of his suitcases has been flagged by a TSA officer at a security checkpoint. I swear to God, sir. I know, but un sir, unfortunately, there's sir. certain procedures we have to follow. Okay, Anytime listen. something comes in, that's prohibited, correct? Right. So listen. You sir. understand that, correct? Can you please give Do you have your ID on you? Sir, my ID's in my bag. In the bag? Yes, I'm a okay. sir. Listen, I'm a minor, sir. I have security guards. They left that in my bag, sir. I did not okay. pack my bag. Well, we can get that all straightened out please, after the it. fact, okay? okay? Thank you. But, but until then, I have to put you in handcuffs until we figure this out. Okay. Little Meech then has a very specific request for the officer. And that, can I call my mom or somebody? Please? We'll we'll do that after. Okay. All right. Just turn around for me. Be cooperative. Everything's on video and, and audio surveillance. Plus, I'm on body cam. You understand that? I promise you, so that's not mine. Okay. The problem is, is bringing it into the checkpoint. Sure, just have a seat for me. After my mom's a father, just, just have a seat. I would never do that, sir. TSA officers investigated and found out that little Meech was correct. The gun belonged to his bodyguard. But since Meech had placed the bag on a scanner belt himself, he was the one detained. Little Meech had a mugshot photo taken, but the district attorney decided to not file any charges. So I think it's pretty clear from watching After Hours, as I know everyone does every single week, 
the world isn't always the safest place. It's important to realize if you're ever seriously hurt, your injury could actually be worth millions. That's where Morgan & Morgan, a proud sponsor of After Hours, comes in. Morgan & Morgan doesn't just settle for lowball offers. In the past couple months, they've seen verdicts of $12 million in Florida, $26 million in Philadelphia, and $6.8 million in New York. And here's the kicker. The fee is absolutely free unless you win. You can start your claim with America's largest injury law firm in just a single click on your phone. They've completely modernized the injury law process. so You can submit a claim and communicate with your legal team all from your phone. You don't even have to leave your couch to do so. So to start your claim now with Morgan & Morgan, go to www.forthepeople.com backslash after hours or click the link in the description and in the pinned comments. Next, we're in Orlando, Florida, where tempers flared at a Spirit Airlines ticket counter on June 27th, 2023. According to police, a family at the counter was upset and causing a scene. Listen, listen, everybody's, everybody's playing on the I'll be on the road. In police body camera video, you can see an officer approach a man identified as Edward Harrison of Ohio. There's a scuffle and suddenly everyone is on the ground. Officers were able to restrain the man and detained a woman as well. As officers try to get the man away from the ticket counter and other passengers, his pants start to fall off. He says he can't stand up correctly because the officers broke his leg. I'm gonna stand up, my leg broken. My, my leg. My leg is broken. The officer who originally encountered Harrison told some of his fellow officers that the man had put his hands on a Spirit Airlines computer, and when the officers tried to stop him, Harrison reportedly put him in a chokehold. He was reached behind the ticket counter, like they were screaming at each other, and I was like, all right, we're closed, everything's closed now. And he was like slamming the keyboard, right? And I was like, I pushed his hand, I was like, bro, you can't do that back there. He's like, don't touch me, he did a hit. And I was like, step back, he keep right. doing that, he did a hit again, and then we locked up. And I was like, now you're going to jail. And he, he's a big boy, he yes, hit, he hit okay. at me, and he put me in a headlock, went down the ground, and I, I passed out almost. Harrison was charged with one count of attempted first-degree murder of a law enforcement officer, resisting arrest with violence, battery on a law enforcement officer, and disorderly conduct. He has pleaded not guilty and has his next court hearing in April 2024. Next, we're back in Atlanta, where officers got a report of a man exposing himself to a young girl while waiting at a gate inside the airport. By the time police and airline employees were able to identify the man, his flight had already departed. Atlanta enforcement called Fort Lauderdale police, but they weren't able to locate the suspect. He had a return flight to Atlanta in just two days, so police waited. When Andre Gallanin returned from Florida on September 29, 2023, an officer boarded the Frontier Airlines flight before any passengers were let off. Gallanin was seated all the way at the back of the plane. The officer put him in handcuffs and led him off the plane without incident. He was later booked on a charge of public indecency and the case is still ongoing. Our final destination is back in Miami, where it's not a passenger that ended up in hot water, it's the TSA. Three TSA officers, to be exact, were caught in July 2023 after they were allegedly spotted on camera stealing from passengers going through security checkpoints. They allegedly distracted passengers as they were being screened so they could steal money from the passengers' belongings. Originally, Jose Gonzalez, Elizabeth Fuster, and Liberius Williams were all charged, but Fuster's charges were later dropped. Gonzalez and Williams now face charges of grand theft in the third degree. Their case appears to still be working its way through the court system at the time of this recording. Thanks for watching. For Law and Crime After Hours, I'm Sam Goldberg.